I'm here at the men's room with Matt and we're going to be checking out cock rings. We've got a whole range of them to look at. They have even more to look at than we've got here. But we've tried to get a selection of different types. So we've got ones with snaps. Yep. We've got ones that stretch. Yep. We've got ones that are solid metal. Yep. And we've got one that's just a little a little bizarre, I guess. It's leather and it's a little bit more complicated. A little so more I think it'll be a fun one to kind of demonstrate everything for you. All right. But when you come in, do you normally do the cock ring sizings right in the middle of the store? Not typically right in the middle of the store. I mean, a few customers are a little bit braver than others. Yeah. So they'll kind of whip it out wherever they feel So you can do it in the middle of the store. So, um, well, why don't we uh, take a little pause. We're gonna grab one of the cock rings and come right back. Sure. All right, so first one we've got is the snaps here. Now, is, there's a couple of different brands of these. I know that. This one, it looks like it's, what is that made of? Is it leather or vinyl? So this one soft? is by our leather company, okay. Armada. And Armada, what this one right. is, I love them, is it's leather and neoprene. Leather and neoprene, that makes yeah. perfect sense, yeah. So the reason I really, really like this one is it's really, really durable. Uh -huh. And with the neoprene, it's not gonna stretch or move too much. Yeah. It's gonna stay that exact same size. I love it. And with the neoprene on the inside, it's super comfortable as you're wearing it. Yeah. And it's also really easy to clean and take care of. Oh, I love it. It seems like it's less, cause not that I get a lot of problems with leather, but it's, this one actually looks like it's gonna be less likely to snag my pubes. Exactly. Well, exactly. let's try it out. For sure. Let me do one of these, and then we'll do one of these. Oh, look at it. I was afraid I had the button fly. <laughs> so this is relatively simple, right? Yeah, so the easiest thing to do with these guys, whenever you're putting them on, snaps on top, everything on the bottom. I like so when you go flat. underneath, look at this right is service. Under. <laughs> and then you want to go as tight as comfortable. So for Ryan, you know, he's pretty good size, so I'm not going to go too, too tight. First snap. Second snap, eventually. And actually, while you're there, you, it's it's sort of inadvertent, but you kind of ended up with a, a two ring, two fingers rather in there. Exactly, Which and that was going to be my next thing. Is anytime you're putting on a cock ring, what you want to think of is you want to be able to at least get your middle finger between yourself and the cock ring. The whole idea behind that is, typically, most people when you get harder, it gets bigger. For sure. So when it gets bigger, you don't want it to pinch too too much. Yeah, absolutely, right. Because the one thing about cock rings is they're a lot of fun, and you. You can really definitely get a little extra like erection for sure. It's, even after you come, I find like oh yeah, you know, just it, it keeps it all there. happening for a little <laughs> extra time, which isn't so bad. You know, you find something to do with that extra time. But the moral of the story is, you know, there is a time when it has to come off. I'd say like after probably about a half hour or so is when I start to entertain the idea of okay, maybe I should take this off for a little while and make sure my dick's not broken. Especially if you've been hard. I yeah, mean, I do know exactly. some people who leave them on all day, for stuff sure. like that. It's all a matter of comfort. It's super, super soft. What's this one called again? That's the neoprene one from uh, Fetish Armada. From Fetish Armada. And Fetish Armada, I love their stuff. I've been checking their stuff out for yeah. years and years. They're wonderful boys here in Montreal. Well, I love this one. This is fantastic. And super easy so to get on It's a good little beginner off. one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, actually, i got to say, generally speaking, these are the ones that if, if you pickpocket me, you're going to find in my pocket. It's going to be a snap on one. Right. Because, you know, one size fits all. That's well, almost all. You know what? <laughs> I, I do have quite a few customers who do wear them up their arm. Well, yeah. It can come in handy at a party. You could almost do it. Yeah, actually, it would work as a bracelet. You could wear that around as a fashion statement. Exactly. Love it. All right, well, let's check out, and we'll check right back in. All right, so we've returned now, and now we've got, uh, this is Neil. No, what is no. this? This is, I don't even know what this That's is. That's okay. So this one's silicone, but it's the other side tire. of this is, if you feel it, it's actually the same sort of material that you would find in like a uh, flashlight yeah, exactly, or any of those yeah, things. Exactly, yeah, exactly, totally. So it's called a silica skin. Silla so it's trying skin. to simulate skin-like texture. Got you. Yeah, and this one's by Perfect Fit. Perfect Fit, I love it. Okay, it looks like a tire, it really does. Like, if you have any any small small vehicles at home, oh, mm -hmm. this is a piece of cake to put on, right? It you is the easiest one in the world. You can't fuck that up. And just like how you did there, the best thing to do when you're taking these ones, stretch it right out, take it in both hands, up and under the balls over. and over top Love and it's it. super simple the other reason i really like these guys is they're rounded all the way around yeah I like it so, so they're comfortable. really comfortable there's no edge yeah this is one that you could wear all day long. totally it feels like it and it really sticks everything it feels yeah. so comfortable it's like it's like how i sleep most nights actually it's just it like my hands wrap around my balls it feels really good <laughs> you can make it an art installation now, that's amazing though this is mm -hmm. honestly this is phenomenal. so you can have a lot of, so it seems a little complicated when you're looking at it but it's actually pretty simple, and since it is so stretchy and comfortable, Crazy. you can really have fun with it. And oh it's my really, god! Really, really a lot of fun. That's that's more fun than I ever imagined. Look at that! You can do almost any configuration you can think of. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's amazing. I kind of love that one. Um, I think I liked it more when I twisted it around the balls. <laughs> you know, my first sort of out of the gate. A few people but... do. I mean, a little cupping of the balls Look always at that. helps, that's right? That's craziness. Mm -hmm. Oh, I fucking love it. Very cool. 
Okay, we're gonna come back with now the metal one next, I yeah, think, right? Yeah, exactly. Stand by. All right, so next up we've got a uh, sized metal cock ring. So these are, I guess, the I would personally think these are the most complicated ones to try to find the right size. Don't go fucking buying shower curtains and stuff. <laughs> you need some rings, I mean shower curtain rings. Sure. The one thing I do like about these guys is I find they're the one that's gonna kind of stay exactly where you want it the most. Totally. So if you like them a little bit more snug, these are a good way to go. Absolutely, yeah. And they can actually be really easy to size as well. That's it. So, so how they come in some standards. That? Okay. So typically what you'll do is you'll find a one inch, a one and a half, a one and three quarters, and this guy's a two. So the easiest way to do it, take a piece of string at home, wrap it around, pinch it off or cut it off, however, bring it in, and you just match the circle. That yeah. is the easiest way. Super simple, you don't even have to try it on in the store. Exactly. But that will work. If you don't want to measure it at home, you can still come into the men's room and they'll happily measure for you. Or we'll make sure we get you the Help right you one. get the right size. <laughs> okay, so now there's a couple of things that I usually think of when I put these on, but why don't you tell us what you usually do? So the first thing that I was doing that, I don't know if you've been noticing, I've been kind of rubbing it in my hands. That's so thoughtful. <laughs> Metal cock rings tend to be a little cold. <laughs> okay, so, so the easiest one for this, I'm gonna give you this guy. For sure. So you can see it a little bit easier. What I typically say to do, take one nut and pull it through. So Doesn't pulling on the scrotum, left whichever, or right, just whatever you're more comfortable with. And then follow up with the and other And then nut. follow up with the other one. Now you got some two nuts hanging out of there. And then right from there, you should be able to just tuck yourself right, right on through, through and out through the cock ring. And then that actually feels like right out of the gate, perfect fit for me. Mm -hmm. It's nice and comfortable. I mean, you, again, we can get the middle finger in there mm -hmm. in between yourself and the cock ring as exactly. we said at the beginning. And it feels nice, it feels heavy, it's nice. It's got a good kind of weight And that's, weight the to finger it. thing is very, very important with the metal cock ring. Especially so, right? Because they're not so easy to get off. Yeah, and if you do have that crazy reaction, you're like, fuck, I want this goddamn thing off. Mm -hmm. It might not come to that, but if it does, you want to have an action plan. So, um, okay, well that's one more, and then let's come back with our final one, the complicated, but also kind of most interesting one. All right, and so we're back now with the final and the most complicated style of cock ring that we're going to be exploring today. Does this have a name? Um, <laughs> I call it the triple. The it's triple. done by uh, Priya. It's also really good too if you want to kind of make your package even more pronounced. It'll yeah. really push it out there and it'll give you a nice full package in those tight jeans. Yeah, I think this is something that you could definitely wear because again, it's got that multiple kind of size action. So you could wear it tighter, you could wear it more narrowly depending on how long or what you're doing with it and everything else. Exactly. And since it is solid leather, it's going to really form to your body. Yeah. So what, there's, I can see there's a couple different ways we could probably do this actually. We could probably put our balls through here, through this little hole, and then maybe our dick through the top, so you have some variety with it. Exactly. So it's all kind of about whatever's going to work the best for you. If you have larger balls, they're not going to be able to fit through the solid ring. Right. However, that's where the snaps can come in, and you've got tons of space in the bottom. You can accommodate it different exactly. ways. Exactly. You know, well, some people you got way. slightly smaller balls, bigger shafts, so you got to play it around. So I'm going to start by pulling my dick through the fixed hole there. Exactly. And I'm going to pull my balls up through the bottom there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull this side over. And then I'm just going to throw in a snap. And snap. So perfect thing. Just get one snap on first. You'll see where you are. Yeah, kind of see how it feels. Or... Play with your balls a bit. Make sure they work. you want them to be. And then you could always make it tighter if you want. I think that's cool. Well, let's see how we look. I've got this fucking sick. <laughs> Like, Watch out for that zipper. A mental game. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God damn. But that does look like a nice fucking package. It actually, I don't know, it looks fairly natural. It looks yeah. a little like a gorge, but. And it doesn't look too, too, too big. It's, not, you know, not kind of like sticking straight up or anything like That's that it. either. And again, because it's leather, it's already like softening and getting more comfortable as I'm wearing it. Just like, And how does it feel in the jeans? It's super comfortable. It doesn't yeah. feel like it's restrictive or it just feels kind of supported. Perfect. Which Especially for somebody idea. like me who never wears fucking underwear. You know, it's nice to have some support. Worst. You don't want to, <laughs> you know, be dragging all the way down there. Exactly. Maybe you do. Which I don't actually, know. you put up a really good point. That's something that I like to say with a lot of the cock rings. For anyone who goes commando, it gives you that awesome little bit of support so that you're not kind of, you know, flailing all over the place through the whole day. Yeah, it makes it really comfortable and, I don't know, it's nice to have something there, I think. Find one or two that you find really comfortable for yourself, and then from there you can really explore some different ones. I think that makes the most sense, you know, because it's hard when you're online, for example, to kind of pick something, try it, see if it's something that you like. Cock rings are really kind of a personal thing. You saw me even here learning. I mean, I've been playing with cock rings for as long as I can remember things, but uh, the point is there's always still something to learn. There's new designs, there's new things to try out, and it's worth coming into the store, checking it out, maybe trying one or two on, and, and seeing what you like the most. And then you've got something you can call your own, and. Exactly. To have ready whenever you want. I almost always have one in my belt. 
so. <laughs> no, That's a good idea. Oh, you're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to start putting it on my wrist more often. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and a handcuff key on your key ring, and then you're Just set for almost any occasion. <laughs> Lord. All right. Well, thank you so much, Matt. And thank, thank you. you so much to the men's room for having us out here today. And uh, we'll turn it back over to you, Ryan.